Hey everyone, it's Jules, and today is very different content than what I normally talk about. It's super personal, and I actually really struggled with how to talk about it, when to talk about it, and yeah, just all the emotions that swirl around big life changes. So, I guess I'll just kind of cut to the chase a little bit just to make it easier to a degree. But Gunnar and I are no longer together. And it's been some time since that happened. And I've been giving myself space as to like when I would make it more public uh, regarding that because I have shared here on YouTube about us and our relationship, about how we met, and a lot of people have been invested in that. And I think that's great that people were so invested or have been invested in our relationship. And because I shared that, I felt like it only made sense to then also share the fact that we ended up going our separate ways. And there's many factors that come into play here. I'm not gonna go into all the personal details. And I don't, honestly don't think it would make a huge difference. It's, the end result is that we're no longer together. And the apartment that we were living in, so the one that we bought together, we actually had bought an apartment first in Mulso and then in Shelter and S. So in that apartment where it was like completely gutted and renovated, I no longer live there. So, and he doesn't either. So we both decided because we owned it together 50 50 to sell it. And even though that was hard because there was a lot of work put into that apartment to make it a home. Um, personally, like, there's a lot of things I loved about being able to design there, uh, but such is life. And it was a really fun project to do and I was just grateful to have been able to do that and then move on from it. I hope that the people who do end up living there, the ones who bought it, enjoy it just as much as I did. It was only about a year in which uh, we were there. And I do plan on sharing a house tour of that apartment, so just FYI, even though I live somewhere else now, I do plan on sharing that and also the renovations because I did capture a lot of footage around it with the idea that, you know, over the years being able to look back and see it because it was a complete gut of it and then building it from the ground up. In terms of my feelings, there's a swirl of feelings as you can only imagine when you're getting divorced and yeah it's been it's been an interesting journey and I think because I'm naturally optimistic about things meaning that's just where my brain goes that even though there have been plenty of times where it was challenging for me tough to even like talk about or think about you know all the therapy things like that I have still in my mind throughout the process felt like this is going to be for the better because you know it seems that we came together in life and we're there for each other when we needed it and then as we can you know grew apart uh we were able then to mutually come to an understanding that it was time to go our separate ways it wasn't an easy decision for either one of us and i hope that for the in the end for both of us that there's healing understanding, growth. I know on my part, just speaking personally, that I have definitely grown a lot from this. Also moving to a whole nother country, starting like all things Iceland. None of this was in the plan for me. Meaning like, if you had told me more than a decade ago, because we were together almost nine years, that I would fall in love with someone, an Icelander, first of all, move to Iceland, start a channel about Iceland, you know, like all these things. I just wouldn't have believed it because first of all, Iceland was never on my list of places to visit, but now I help to convince people why they should come here because it is amazing, honestly. And I feel at home here. For those who are wondering if I'm gonna stay, I am. It is my home, honestly. And as much as I love New York, this is where I've been for the past almost seven years. And I love it here and I, I've been embraced as well in the community by different people meaning like the companies I've worked with by friends and of course even like former family members so of, of Gunnar's family they've been amazing and I just felt 
continuously as I've been here, really happy and glad to get the experience to make an international move that has been so positive because it doesn't work that way for everybody. And there are even people who live here who don't necessarily feel the same way I do. And that just goes to show that experiences are unique and very personal. Whew. Okay. In terms of going forward, I am continuing with all things Iceland. I love the work that I do in terms of sharing about Iceland. I love being able to showcase different aspects of it. When I started this channel, when I started the podcast, Instagram, all of those things, a lot of it had to do with the fact that when I was moving, I didn't see anybody like me and I didn't know if Iceland would be a place that's okay for someone like me to come and visit, to possibly live. So to be able to just represent at least my experience and share that or to show people that being a solo female traveling around the country is something that you can do safely here and it's definitely something you should do if you're thinking about it because it is amazing. I've had the privilege of being able to do that and I'm gonna showcase that for sure in videos coming up, but as well as just being a black woman moving to a place where most people don't associate you know, people of color or black people being accepted or part of the society has, I felt, been an honor for me to share that because now I get the opportunity with all of you, just like I said, to give a different perspective. So I just greatly appreciate everybody who has, you know, embraced my telling of my experience, you know, from, from my lens and also just the opportunity in the community in Iceland having embraced me so well too. So yeah, wow. I just, oh, this is a, I don't really know what else to say because inside I'm like nervous about, you know, just putting this such personal information out there that is hard to talk about. When it's happy and fun, of course, it's super easy. And even if you see me smiling, like this is just my way of being able to deal with something that gets really intense. And I'm continuously, you know, healing from the things that weren't so great. And like I said, growing from my own awareness now of what is best for me and best for you know being in a relationship later on when I end up meeting the person that makes sense for me and also just being realistic about relationships too when we got together I was in my 20s my late 20s so there was a lot that I had that I definitely brought into the relationship and that he had that he brought into the relationship. And of course, there's so much in the beginning that is exciting and fun. And funny enough, for those who haven't seen the video which I talk about we're, you know, how we met, we didn't live together until I moved to Iceland, which is super fascinating. And, you know, being in a long distance relationship for like three years and then moving to, in together, all that jazz, it added kind of to this excitement and then coming here for myself, having a job. I was really fortunate to have secured a job before coming here because I was very independent in New York and working and have a, had a career. So continuing that career coming here was important to me. And I was really happy that I had this still independence when I came here, meaning like making my own money and all that. So it ended up being that like, I got to grow from a different way than maybe some other people who come and have to change their lives completely, meaning like change their careers or rely on their spouse because it can be sometimes difficult to get work in Iceland, especially if you don't speak the language. So yeah, there's, there's so many factors and I am, I'm, I'm excited about the future, I'll just be honest. At the same time, I'm like, wow, I'm living here as a solo person. My anchor to Iceland was through love, right? It was through, I would have, like I said, never imagined coming here, but having fallen in love with someone made it easy for me 
to make that decision. And then having been embraced here and having such positive experiences made it easy for me to stay and made it easy for me to realize that this is where I feel like I belong and and can permanently stay too. That's another thing. Like I'm not in some space where that is in jeopardy and I do feel really privileged to be able to say something like that because there are many people who would love to live here. Granted, not everyone's aware of what it takes to live here. <laughs> it isn't sunshine and rainbows. I mean, I, like I said, I have a very optimistic outlook about a lot of things, even when the weather is crap. <laughs> so, but that's just my nature and that's okay. And it's okay for other people to have their own opinions and feelings about it too, because it's their experience. But yeah, so I don't want to go on too long. I just wanted to share that information. If you decide you want to leave a comment, feel free to do so. I ask you just please be kind. This is not, you know, I'm not sharing this. I, I'm, sh I'm sharing just because I want to be transparent. And even though it does, like, I literally feel like there's pain here. <laughs> it pains me a bit. I feel like to be this vulnerable, I do feel like it is necessary and important because all of you have been like I said on this journey with me and I've been very supportive and been amazing and so I just want to be open about that and also as my content you know as I continue to make more content you might be curious about where's her husband or you know at this point X and that's fair like I said I had shared about it before and there's the good times and there's the not so good times and so this is one of those announcements of times where it didn't, it, it ended up not being the result that I had ever imagined when I first moved and definitely not the result I had imagined when I shared those videos about our relationship years ago. So, but like I said, I've done a lot of therapy. <laughs> I've done my fair share of crying as well and moving on to what is next for me, which is so many things, a lot of cool things to share with all of you, and I'm excited about that. And in regards to sharing about relationships in the future, I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. That to be really vulnerable and real, like it is a little scary to think about being in a relationship with somebody and sharing it publicly and then not working out, right? So literally what has happened and what I'm sharing now. And that's the part that is like, yeah, I don't know. But then again, I want to live authentically too. I don't want to feel like I have to hide anything. So we'll see. But at the moment, I'm enjoying the present. I'm not trying to focus too much on the future and definitely not focus too much on the past. Just know that I've been there, learning, and I'm here now. I'm grateful for all of you who've watched, commented, and thank you for listening to this message as well. Coming up, I do have, like I mentioned, those apartment videos, so you can see what the full apartment looked like as well as the reconstruction. And then, you know, this is so bizarre to say before I go, but in destroying that apartment and rebuilding it up again, it kind of feels like the life I'm in right now. It's just like all the things that I knew sort of like coming here, it's just been dismantled and now I'm rebuilding so yeah i guess maybe that apartment was a metaphor for um my life maybe good much life too i don't know i can only speak for me but thanks for watching and feel free like i mentioned leave any comments that you want thank you